We're at CES 2011 um, with Eric Kingdom from Sony. Eric, uh, we're going to talk X reality, but before we do, we're going to look at this TV behind us here. This is your top of the range. This is the, yeah, yeah, actually, that's totally correct. This is um, what I would call a flagship range. This is the HX9. Now, um, we've got some demos running on the wall behind us, and uh, in, in, in the case of this model, we've got the HX9 at the top, and we've got uh, the function working, if you like, and the non-process version. And you can quite clearly see in this case, we're showing very low bitrate content. And the engine system inside the television is allowing you to get much better picture quality for that. Because there's so much on the internet that people are using. And let's face it, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to squeeze out more quality so that we can enjoy it on a normal TV. Um, Fine for handheld devices, but when you move to a bigger screen, you need some extra help. And that's where the X-Reality Pro system comes in. And you can see, in the case of the top, um, how much noise reduction there is, less artifacting and so on, compared to the bottom system. So we've got great plans and we've got a great, we had a great reaction to this model because um, internet video is so popular. So, I mean, it's, it's using a, a low bit rate. There's lots of pixelation and so on going on there. And basically what you're doing with the technology is smoothing it out and adding a little bit of sharpness in there. That's correct, yeah. We use um, quite a lot of sophisticated algorithms and processing to achieve this. I mean, the TV itself is a step up from the model that we chatted around earlier on, which is the HX8. The 9 um, is actually a complete um, local dimming controlled backlit LED system. So the picture quality is... Um, I would say is right at the, you know, it's a crown, it's the top of the range. So we're going to move down the stand a little bit here, Eric, well, and a, look at this thing on the wall. Let's take a look at these two little fellas here. Now this is actually the engine heart. These two devices make X-Reality Pro. Um, there was an awful lot of programming, a lot of research went into studying the kind of mapping or the understanding of what the image characteristics were from a whole variety of different sources. So we could assemble, if you like, a library of data within inside the TV's system so that it could choose and select the optimum processing to give you the best picture quality. And if we move back a little bit further, we can see there again an example of the TV operating with the function on and the TV operating without the function on. And there are cases where many people have come up and pointed out things. I didn't see that before. Wow, look at the quality. It really works. Um, I think you'll agree. So, like you said, Eric, we moved down to the, the end of the line here. And what we're seeing is uh, a dolly shot through some woods. Um, lots of trees there, lots of greens, lots of branches, lots of fine detail that's not coming through here. We're, we're getting a lot of digital noise and so on. Yeah, if you look above with, with the processing on, We've seen this before, this is super bit mapping, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's one of the things that helps the quality of the set. I mean, in this particular case, if you look at this image, um, you can see by simply looking at the castle itself, the fine brickwork and detail that's available. I mean, we have other test footage which you can check out, where if you um, look at um, a country scene, mountains and rocks and so on, and here we go. You can see here the brickwork in fine detail. There, okay, it's visible but it isn't as natural. The outline of the edge of the mountains in the background. Again, it's there, but it isn't as good. Um, and that's the ability of the TV's processing power to deliver the best 2D performance we can. And that's why we, um, we believe very strongly in the quality of this product. But there is another thing that it offers, which improves the black level capability of the television. And that's something we call intelligent LED. Now, before we move on to intelligent LED, I've got to ask you this because I'm a video pu purist. I know you are. Uh, and <laughs> a lot of our, our viewers out there are, are purists. Um, now, we always say you never add in what's not, not already there. Um, so a lot of people are going to say, well, you're adding in artificial sharpening, you're adding in uh, artificial processing into that. What would your reply to that kind of question be? Well, I, th I would say that... Um we're a great believer, and I personally am a great believer, in all processing systems being adjustable. And uh, for instance, uh, with the LED control system, you can actually turn it off. If you choose to process the picture in a certain way, we try to give you the optional flexibility to do so. But I do take your point about adding things that aren't there, but I have to say that actually, due to the database that's inside the television, from all the mapping, so-called mapping that we've done and looking at HD imaging, 
actually, probably, it's more there than you actually think it is. Well, that's an interesting point to end on there. And I'm desperate to see this TV in the flesh and play with it myself. I'm sure we'll do that very soon. Thanks, Eric. I absolutely hope you will. Thank you.